Tom Hanneman, Kevin Lynch back on a Timberwolves fast break following a Wolves 25 point loss uh, to San Antonio. Fifth consecutive setback. The Spurs dominant in pretty much every area of this game. Yeah, this is a very good team. And uh, it was good to see young Tyus Jones get some action in this ball game, Tom, with six points, two assists, two steals. He came out there early on in the ball game and he just looked like a different guy. You could tell he's been working on his game. Hopefully he's improved here uh, during his uh, six game stint in the D League and uh, maybe he can slide in and stay in that rotation. The D League, no question, helped Tyus Jones, if nothing else, in his confidence. Let's look at the final right. stats from this game. By the way, Tyus, after the loss, had nothing but praise for the Spurs. They're very good. They're, I mean, their record speaks for itself, but uh, just how they play the game is, uh, which is what separates them, uh, how unselfish they are, how they move the ball so quickly. And um, I mean, everyone, everyone out there can make plays for them. So um, they're, they're definitely, uh, you know, one of the, one of the best, uh, if not the best team in the league. So after a bit of a break, the Wolves back in action Saturday, the day after Christmas, when Indiana comes to town. And it's off to Texas, San Antonio, Monday before Utah is here at Target Center on Wednesday. The focus being Indiana now, a Pacers team that uh, has been a problem for the Wolves as well. Yeah, and Paul George is still the best player on that team, so it's going to be a tall order to try to corral him, although Kawhi Leonard did it for San Antonio a couple nights ago when the two teams played, but uh, he's their main gun, and he's a the guy they got to keep track of. Hope you'll join us Saturday night for Wolves Live. Heading into the game with the Indiana Pacers. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.